So hello and welcome to all the viewers. In this video, we will going to learn about how to perform the pressure vessel analysis by using shell modeling approach with the help of ANSYS workbench. So all of you aware of there are different methods of performing simulation such as like solid modeling approach, shell modeling approach, one dimensional modeling approach. So in most of the case, we need to use the shell modeling approach. So while using shell modeling approach, we will come to, we will come across a lot of issues such as how to create the connections, how to define the contacts, how to define the edge connections, how to do a surface editing. So all these things we will going to discuss in a present video. So this slide represents our actual problem statement. So here we need to perform a static structural analysis for a pressure vessel for following loading and boundary condition. So if you see, this is nothing but our horizontal pressure vessel. And this is what our loading and boundary condition. The first boundary condition, or we can say the loading condition is, we need to apply the internal pressure, design pressure of 0.30 megapascal. And these, your material is structural steel. So basically this is by default available in ANSYS library. So no need to change. And the third, here we need to use a acceptance criteria as a yield stress criteria. So basically our allowable stress is yield limit of 240 megapascal. So suppose if you are this respective vessel is uh, having a stresses which are well below the 240 megapascal, it means that our vessel is safe or you can say the design is safe. If it is exceeding 240 megapascal, then we can conclude that our design is not safe. And in such a scenario, we need to propose the design changes. And then the last boundary condition, like we need to consider both the saddles, this one and this one as a fixed boundary condition. So basically we need to constrain all the bottom faces in all rotational as well as translation degrees of freedom. So this slide represent the actual learnings in this video. The very first we will discuss about how to create the component in space claim and then how to use the different geometry sharing operations in a space claim. Then we will see what are the geometry sharing operation we use in a space claim, how to identify that in a mechanical by using color by connection option, by using mesh by body connection options. In addition to that, we will also see how to perform the shell meshing operations. So while doing shell meshing, what are the different methodologies we can use? Also, we will come across few issues while doing the meshing for this horizontal vessel. So I will going to explain how to resolve that issues. Okay. With the help of space claim, geometry editing tool, as well as meshing guidelines. In addition to that, we will also see the explode view, edge sizing, mesh connection, as well as contact connection options, as well as we will also discuss about while you have a surface, how to use a shell like when you have two different bodies which are come in contact having a single surface, how to define the top and bottom surface that we can discuss in this video. Then at the last, we will see how to apply loading and boundary condition. What is the significance of internal and external pressure? Then we will discuss about how to check the uh, normal as well as if you want to change the normal, how to do that in space claim. And at the last, we will see the solution and we will extract the results such as total deformation as well as stress plot. Okay. And we will compare with the yield limit. So all these points we will going to cover in addition to that. Also, we will cover a few geometry editing part of, of space claims, such as like how to project the bodies in order to create the contact, how to add subtract, how to delete the uh, respect to surface, how to recreate the surface which will be useful for you while you will do this simulation or any similar kind of simulation at your end. So please stay tuned to this video. It will be very longer video, but it will be very useful for you. Okay, then what we'll do now, we will go to our answers and there we'll discuss the remaining simulation.
So now if you see like we had open our ANSYS workbench deck. So if you see here, this is nothing but our project schematic deck where you just need to drag and drop the respective analysis system from here to your project schematic. Okay. So now if you see here as we need to perform the static structural simulation, that's why I just drag that respective analysis deck over here. Now in order to open the respective geometry, if you have your geometry, you just right click on a geometry here and you can define the respective directory path where you kept your simulation geometry. So right now I had already in, uh, incorporated or you can say I had already imported the geometry in a space claim. So what we will do now, we will go to space claim directly. So if you see here, this is what our space claim looks like. Now if you see, this is what the our analysis geometry which consists of, uh, you can see this is nothing but the shell, all the surface bodies are present over here. You can see over here. And this is nothing but your nozzle, input as well as output nozzle. This is the saddle, fixed as well as sliding. But at present, we will consider both as a fixed saddle. Okay. The very first topic, like uh, as we see, we need to create a first a component and then we need to see how to use the share geometry option. So for that, you know, to create the component, you just, uh, let's create first right click, hide. So I'm hiding the bigger geometry. Now, if you see, uh, you just need to create, select that, further control button, and then drag the window, okay? Now what we did, we selected the both the saddles. Now right click, and here component, you can see that move to new component. So if you see here, the, our new component is created. Now right click, you can just uh, press F2 and then you can define the respective name of the component. So now if you see, this is what our saddle is created. Now let's show all the body further, right click and you can uncheck this. And now for this, you just further right click form a new component. So move to new component. So you just use this option and here you can define the vessel. Okay. Now the next thing like uh, we have created moved the components. Now you know to delete this unwanted right click and here you can write use option delete empty component or you can use, use the option delete. Okay. Now we have created the two options. So what do you think whether after creating a component will it be as same as uh, in a mechanical because if you refer to another modeling software like a ANSYS design modeler in that once you created a part then this part is automatically create the connectivity between the mating components but at present whether it will be the same here in space claim or not so for that what we can do we just go to our main window here and right click Let's refresh. So now it will update your geometry in a mechanical. So for that, let's go inside the mechanical. Now if you see our mechanical is open and here you can see like though we have created the component, but here in a mechanical, you can see these components uh, created as a single entity. Okay, so there is no component came on a mechanical. So for that, you just need to go further to space claim. And here you need to use the option called, just click over here. And here under the share topology, there are different options. Okay, so the first one is like you can group, share, merge. You can merge also, you can use the share one. So at present, we can use the share one. Similarly for vessel also, we can use the share one. Okay. Now we have created a two components and we use the share option. So now further you need to refresh that and you can go to your mechanical window. So now it is further refreshing our model. So if you see now our two different components, right, are created. So now uh, if you see like this is very important if you are using space claim. 
so don't forget do not forget to uh, use the share option inside the space claim after forming the component once your share option is on then only you are able to see the components in mechanical now there is another way like how to check the whether all the components are connected or not so for that uh, you just go to the display option and here inside the connection you will find various options like by connection by body connection so if you click on a by connection you will find to uh, you will come to know that whether all our components are connected or not so if you see if any component having the red edges then it means that it is not connected so now if you see here it is black one here it is red ones it means that this there is no direct connectivity okay now further you can see over here also so all the edges are connected now we can see over here also now if you see uh, on this here also you can see the pink edge and here also you can see the yellow edge so basically it will there are more than one edges that why it is showing a uh, yellow when it, there are two edges it will show the color like this okay and when there is single edge it will show like a black color okay this is the another way to check and the next way is by body connection so for that you first need to perform the meshing operation so let's discuss about how to perform the meshing so as we know that this component looks like quite bigger so in order to reduce the our simulation time you can define the size approximately or you can say the appropriate size is always required to define the respective mesh connections so let's right click over here insert and here you can define the sizing option there are various sizing options are that so before that let's see here like uh, here it is showing the question mark so why it is showing the question mark so as we know we are using structural steel so there is no need to worry about that when you click on the structural steel it will show the all the mechanical as well as other your material properties and by default it will going to take the structural steel as a material then the if you click over here inside this you will come to know that here we need to assign that respect to so you just need to control okay go here and here you can define the structural steel as the material now what about the thicknesses so let's define here some thickness like uh, let's define 6 mm okay and here also on the vessel so for this first define the material okay and for this respective component our thickness is 10 mm so go corresponding bodies in a tree here you can define the respective thickness like 10 mm or whatever the thickness you want to define uh, as per your design you can define that respect to thickness and for the remaining components let's define thickness as a okay it took all these as a 10 mm so right click go to respect corresponding bodies let's hide this body and for this remaining components let's define the 6 mm okay show all bodies now our thickness is defined material is assigned that's why you can see like our green tick over here now let's discuss about the very important topic that is mesh so if you see here inside the mesh tab right click over here and you can inside the insert there are various meshing options are available so in present simulation we will going to use only sizing and if needed we will going to use the method options okay so for mesh uh, we have already created a very good video chain uh, where we explain all this option that is local as well as global mesh so you just go to our channel page and there you can refer the respective meshing tutorials so let's uh, go with the sizing so for the sizing when you click on the sizing you need to define the respective sizing but if you look into body you will come to know that one is very small component one is very big other are also very small so in that case you need to go step by step so for a bigger components let's define the bigger size so let's define 50 that is 50 mm and i will hide this and for this uh, different components like uh, for saddle just select differently uh, press control select this right click insert let's define the sizing i will define 20 mm 
and right click i will hide or uh, let's define here also like 20 mm initially sizing and you can define the 20 mm okay show all bodies and now what let's try with this respect to sizing it is better if you keep as minimum as possible this uh, it is no, no not needed to define the more controls because it will unnecessarily create the extra time and also sometimes it will uh, result in a crack or you can say like uh, sometimes your mechanical window closes automatically so that may happen because of we are trying with the different sizing options so try to keep as minimum as possible now let's cl click on a mesh right click and try to generate the mesh so let's see if it will works with these uh, respect to sizing options so now if you see like we came across the error so it means that with the respect to settings uh, our simulation is, or you can say the simulation mesh is not performing so in that case uh, there is one more problem also that if you know our vessel consists of different components which are connected with each other okay so in that case due to the size difference it does not happen due to the side difference you will come to know that uh, here we have given 20 mm sizing here we have given 50 mm sizing so that's why the software does not able to understand which size he needs to follow so in that case you just go step by step so instead of using this option direct mesh generate mesh so let's hide this now let's first do the saddle is already done hide this body now let's do this mesh first generate mesh okay so the sequence plays the significant role while you are doing the mesh now if you see our mesh is done now we can see now let's show all bodies and let's try the bigger body it should work with this approach because uh, the first software get the idea of he needs to mesh with the 20 mm and then he needs to go the 50 mm like that okay now if you see that our mesh is performed and now if you zoom in the respect to portion you will come to know that it follows this first 20 mm also here 20 mm and gradually is increasing to 50 mm so that is the wonder of uh, mesh so once you will get the experience then you will come to know the different shortcuts which you can play while meshing the bigger geometries okay now let's try the another option uh, here just to check the connections so for that mesh is required now our mesh is defined so now if you click over here body connection and if you zoom the respect to components here you can see the per here single double and multiple so you can easily identify the double edge there is no red edge it means that the mesh is Confirmal mesh is there okay for all the components let's check for the saddle also okay now let's check these two smaller vessel okay here is some problem you can see like here there is mesh is not good and even the connectivity is missing now let's check the another portion also here also you can see that uh, the connectivity is not proper so how to resolve that so i will going to explain you right now how to resolve such issue when you do the bigger mesh or a bigger component mesh when you are planning to do uh, like heat exchangers pressure vessels or different automotive components you will come to know the such kind of issues so how to resolve that so let's do one thing 
click on the geometry let's first click on the by connection options so now if you see by connection here is a red red is there so now for a single red means single one and black means double one uh, here you can see this pink color triple and then multiple so like this color code is there so right now it is showing that single edge it means that it is free so how to make it connected so for that let's go inside the space claim so now if you see here inside the space claim uh, we have seen like double click on that edge and then use the delete option now if you use the delete option it will delete the respect to edges and let's see inside okay let's try to hide this first okay it means that there is no hole uh, sometimes it may create a problem right click show all bodies now let's try to create a hole for that let's go to split body select the surface select the slicing face i am selecting and now remove the unwanted part so i want to remove this unwanted part okay now your hole is created but what will happen when you create the hole it will create at the back end also here also you will find the hole is created so let's delete this okay first go to select then select this face okay let's try to delete now you just need to press the delete button let's hide this okay now you can see that hole is created show all bodies so now we have created the hole over here so we have removed uh, the vessel portion inside this nozzle so basically we have created the hole on both the sides so let's check whether it will resolve our issue or not in a mechanical so for that right click update geometry from a source so right now it will update the geometry now if you see here and uh, let's zoom the respective portion okay okay so it means that still our issue is not resolved there are few red edges are present so let's check whether hole is created or not hide body now the hole is created but uh, still the connections are not built up so let's go further inside the workbench so in order to do that let's hide this first let's go to the repair let's check if you have any extra edges extra edges can nothing is there let's try to use pull option so let's select the face and uh, if you see it is showing normal like this but we want normal in a horizontal direction so for that click or pull direction define this face now you can see the arrow is changed and now you can extend like this but right now if you see when i am doing extension it is creating two extra faces so for that what i will do i will go to select i will use control z further okay show all bodies now what i will do next uh, let's delete this okay and select this face let's use the pool option select this as a normal and let's drag that face like this okay similarly repeat for another hide this now define the direction and now let's okay it's now further creating like this so we don't want like this control z select select this face delete select this use pool option select on this respective face and then pull inside this okay control z you need to select inside and then do pull like this okay i am ex extending the that portion show all bodies now i will what i will do i will 
hide others and I will further delete this. I just want to resolve the complete issue. So show all. Now if you see we have created extra portion inside this. So for that let's use the split body option. Select this, select this face and split the extra. Similarly repeat this. Select this, select the split surface and remove the extra portion. Okay. Now similarly repeat once. Now remove the tank portion from here. Select this, select this face, remove the extra. Similarly, here it is already created. So no need to use that option. Select delete. Okay. Now, if you see here, we have created two surfaces. Now let's move that inside the vessel. And let's try to update the geometry. Hope it will resolve our issue now. Okay. Now if you see here, black means double edges are created. Okay. Similarly, there is one more issue over here. You can see. Right. And uh, let's see here if it is there. Here also it is the same issue. So for that, let's go further. Let's try to delete this. First hide the tank. We had resolved one issue and another issue is created. So that might happen when you do the surface editing option. So delete control Z. Let's check the repair option edges. Now remove the extra. Similarly here remove the extra. Okay. It is very easy to create the surface inside the space claim. So for that let's go to design. Here you can use this blend option. Select first face. Control select another face. Okay. And just click on a grid. Now you can see your respective slant surface is created. Now let's repeat further. Let's delete this. Delete this. Now go to repair. See the edges if any extra edges is there. Uh, here by using this option we are removing that respective point so that we will get the single edge over here. Single edge over here. So let's go to the blend option. Design. Blend. Select first face, control select another face. Now you can see our surface is created. Now select show all body. So my intention is that you should know uh, the different options inside the space claim. When you uh, resolve one issue, sometimes other issue may came into picture. So you should able to know what are the different options inside this space claim. So now we had resolved, uh, resolved both the issues. Let's go here and hope that other connectivity issue also got result. So this one, let's right click, update geometry from source. Okay, now you can see our other issue is also got resolved. So that is the wonder of space claim. When you compare with design modeler, it is quite easier to work with the surface geometry. And here, let's define further here. Thickness we can define here as a let's see here it is 10 mm. So let's define here also 10 mm. So you can change this. I am just uh, using thickness now for the mesh also. Let's hide the saddle. Mm, here tank already defined. Mm, let's include this also. Show all bodies. Now let's first mesh the saddle. Okay, saddle mesh is done. Let's hide this. Let's hide this. 
let's do the remaining body mesh generate mesh we should give a much finer mesh because here 10 is here for it is okay here we should give 5 or 4 mm but uh, let's use the same size at present uh, and let's do this tank mesh okay likewise uh, likewise sequence you need to follow if you are using different sizing options so now if you see our mesh is done let's check for the body connection options okay now we can see like our issue is resolved so likewise you need to let's check the other side also okay okay oh it's fine right so that is okay so likewise you need to do uh, at your end in order to do different editing surface editing as well as mesh options and uh, for this uh, let's go with the finer mesh but it is okay at present i just wanted to explain but when you will going to do at your end you should use much finer mesh for the smaller object okay now let's move to our next topic so now uh, if you see like we have completed uh, this much topic we also saw like mesh by body connection now moving towards next topic that is how to see the explore view how to use the ace sizing and mesh connection so as well as contact connection so we will discuss these three to four terminologies so before that uh, if you see here we have created one single component of the vessel suppose if you have uh, different or varying components or varying parts where you will find this is in separate this is in separate this is in separate so each and every nozzle is in separate component vessel is in separate component so in that case how to do the meshing because this will make quite easier it will take automatically the connection between the uh, mating parts but what will happen when we have a, a different components okay so for that we will also study that in this respective video so uh, let's see how explode view works so basically it is just to see uh, if you go to explode under the display tab there are different options like assembly center uh, then global coordinate so you can change the respective view you can just simply drag and drop like this okay right now if you see our vessel this is the old single component and this is different component so it just show you how the assembly will going to be happen okay what we will do we will make this in a separate components and we will try to see the explode view in addition to that then we will going to use the different mesh settings which will be needed when we have a different individual components so for that let's go inside here and simply on a vessel tab instead of share you can use none so when you use none it means that there is no share topology between the mating components so now let's move to the mechanical here you just right click update geometry from source okay now it should show a different component so now if you see here we have a different components vessel uh, itself it is a single component and uh, we have other different components okay now let's see how the connections are going to so now earlier we saw the black edges two edges form right now there is red edge it means that it is free okay so all the connections are free right now so when you have such a case uh, for the shell component so what you will going to do so we can use this body sizing as it is or else we can use the different meshing options so let's see before that explode view so now if you see how different 
explode view you can see how the assembly basically will going to be done on a vessel okay when you have a different components a bit front assemblies in that case this explode view just give you the idea how the assembly will going to be done now let's talk about uh, the meshing let's uh, this is already done if you see here let's first clear let's try to generate the mesh now it should work earlier when we have a simple uh, all these components in a single part then it is creating problem so we need to do the sequence meshing but right now all are in different components so it should basically work in such a scenarios so let's see because there is no shear topology so it will not going to follow the adjacent body meshing setup now if you see all the components are meshed and here you can easily see how the transaction is going to be happen when there are no connections between the two components so in such a case you can either use the contacts or you can use the mesh connections so there are basically these are the uh, by default contacts which are created let's delete this and when you will going to refresh each and every time it will generate the contact so we will keep that no so it will not going to generate a contacts okay now let's talk about how to use the mesh connections for that right click insert and here you will find that there is a option called manual mesh connections so for that it just work as similar to your contact connection so let's first define the master geometry hide this and let's define the slave geometry show all let's first see how the mesh is there now let's try to clear each and everything and let's try to generate the mesh so i just wanted to show you uh, when you have a shell bodies a different surface body then in that case how to create the fea deck so inside this also you can even define uh, the tolerance value so if you have bigger space then you can increase this tolerance value so that the gap will going to be closed now it is done now you just need to generate this also okay let's see if it will work or not now if you zoom this you will come to know that it going to be show us a body connection now you can see that it is connected and why the transaction is like this because it's try to follow this mesh over this okay but now you are able to create the connection when you define the similar mesh size then in that case it will there is no issue so for that you can even use one more option that is sizing and here let's select all the edges second edge extend to limit there are three edges okay and here you can define the a sizing so basically our it is 20 so let's try to give the a sizing as 20 okay let's clear each and everything let's try to generate the mesh now it should show the better mesh earlier though we have created uh, use the mesh connection but mesh transaction is not that much good so in that case you can use the edge sizing and 
with the help of edge sizing you will come to know that right now you can see it seems to be similar mesh sizing but still mesh connection is not happen so let's click over here and generate okay now when you click over here it got happen but still at few edges so this is happening because of here there is a two edges at the bottom and here at the one single edge so let's do one thing first give a sizing to these two bodies extend to limit apply and here let's give a sizing 20 let's hide body and here let's give a sizing 20 let's try to show all bodies and let's see so we observe that though we had given a sizing still the mesh conformal is not that much good but if you see the mesh connection is okay right all are connected so you can even proceed with the same but still if you want to increase the mesh sizing or if you want to improve the mesh over here you need to think like why it is happening the first thing is like if you see here there are two edges and we have given 20 number of divisions and here only single edges for that also we had given 20 divisions so sometimes it may cause the issues okay so in order to resolve a complete result for this issue let's go to the workbench over here and let's try to split the face so that we will get the two edges first second now on the both the bodies we will get these two edges so what i did i use this split option and i just simply split by using this point so that this face is segregated into two faces now let's go to the mechanical now here let's update the geometry okay now let's uh, first there are two bodies let's hide this and here let's select two more bodies now apply show all and on mesh connection also let's hide and select the missing body okay show all bodies and what we will do let's uh, keep this 30 why 30 because here it is like 50 and here it is 20 so somewhere instead of keeping 20 let it uh, makes 30 and let's try with this respective mesh size so you need to do trial and error once you will have experience on to do the mesh of respect to geometries then only you will get the expertise what sizing i need to use i am doing i am i wanted to show you the different iterations how to make your geometry or you can say like how to create a proper fea mesh when you have a shell bodies it should be finer with this approach if not then i will further recommend you the another methodology okay now if you see that uh, our conformal is looking good but still mesh connection is not performed so let's generate this and let's click on this oh nice so right now if you see our both the issues are resolved we also achieve the good amount of mesh and also the connectivity is achieved so likewise you need to first uh, uh, define the edge sizing and then you can use the mesh connection there is no need of defining edge sizing when you have a similar mesh on the both the components you can directly use this mesh connections so let's uh, try one more time uh, the another mesh connection approach let's insert manual mesh control let's select first body hide body let's select 
the another body okay so all body so let's see first how here the no conformal mesh is there now let's try to generate this it will re perform the respect to mesh on a local region just to make it connected now if you see that it got connected now we can see that now if you want to improve the mesh at this also you need to define the s sizing select both the s insert define the sizing and let's try to give the same sizing and let's see what will happen clear and let's generate the mesh now mesh is done let's see how the mesh connection is let's generate this also so that both mesh mesh connection will going to work okay now click on the mesh now if you see here our both issues got resolved so by using s sizing we had reduce or we had given a conformal mesh and by defining mesh connection we have connected node to node connection so likewise you need to do for all other remaining components when you have a bodies in a different parts okay so just follow the same methodology and create the different number of mesh connections there is one more approach like you can uh, instead of giving this much just simply right click insert create manual contact reason so select the first edge select the second edge and hide all other bodies okay i think we selected only single edge for that let's see first select this edge show uh, show all bodies hide all other bodies and select this okay and now let's check hide all other bodies now if you see i will make it disable transparency your mesh connection uh, contact con creation is done for this nozzle and shell so you can even proceed with this because though there is no mesh conformal but through contact the connection is established when but what will happen we, we are mainly interested to see the stresses at the junction so in such a scenario you will get some sort of stress concentration because the mesh conformal is higher the mesh conformal is higher and uh, even it will show the high stress results so sometimes it is all uh, it is not recommended to use the contact at the nozzle shell junction region so it is better to keep the conformal mesh or else use the mesh connection okay so this two ways you can create the mesh connection uh, by using edge sizing and by using mesh connection and you can even define the contact now let's discuss about the next remaining topic so what i will do i will go to our initial methodology that is by moving all this in a single component so in that case there is no need to define the mesh connections okay now let's go to here for the you know inside the vessel let's define the shear let's go to mechanical let's update the geometry update geometry from source so now we had completed our mesh connection even we discuss about the contact connections so now we will move towards our next topic that is how to apply loads and boundary condition how to check and change the normal in a space claim so now if you see like uh, we there is no need of bond contacts as our parts are moved in a 
single our all the components are moved in a single part okay now even there is no need of defining the sizing you can even define but i think that is not required it will reduce our lot of amount of work lot amount of work let's right click and delete okay now let's apply the loading and boundary conditions so for that go to solution right click insert define the fixed support so what we will do as per our problem definition extend to limit apply or go one by one select extend to limit apply similarly define one more fixed support here extend to limit apply okay so right now if you see we had created the boundary condition now let's talk about the loading condition so there is one more challenge like when you are doing uh, or you are working on shell in that case there is very important thing uh, you need to check the normal in which direction your normal is there now if you see let's select all and there are few components now here you can see the normal is in reverse direction here also you can see the normal is in reverse direction here also you can see the normal in a reverse direction so what will happen when you apply insert and you pressure so in that case for this body and this body the pressure will apply in a opposite directions so that is the challenge so let's hide this select all and let's uncheck this uncheck the flanges uncheck the flanges uncheck the flanges and uh, on this two faces also uncheck the flanges now insert apply pressure okay and we have a pressure value of uh, 0.5 let's go to here 0.3 so let's apply 0.3 mega pascal pressure but right now if you see the normals are in different direction so we need to change that normal before proceeding to our simulation and also our pressure directions needs to be check so let's go to space claim and here you need to first check the normals so let's go to the facet or repair major inside the major tab you will find the normal option okay and here you just select all the and here you will see the arrow direction for the normal display so instead of making arrow let's make it color combination and now you can easily see the colors for the normal so here it is different color here it is different color here it is different color so let's select this right click reverse face normal right and here also i think right click reverse face normal so select all for the okay i think uh, this one is remain so let's change reverse face normal so likewise you need to first see the normals under the major tab and then you can simply right click over there after selecting that face and you can easily change the normal right now if you see our normal is in one direction only for all the vessel components okay now let's quickly go to our mechanical and here further you need to update the geometry form source so if you see here right click first select the face right click select all you will come to know that from green color direction also like all normals are right now up to the mark or you can say there is no problem with the normal issue now let's 
first let's do our mesh after the mesh is performed right now we need to follow the sequence that is important uh, because we move in a single component so it might not work so let's do one thing let's stop this let's clear this let's move for saddle generate mesh one solid saddle is done then hide this body and you can do the mesh for the remaining components now let's hide uh, saddle select all the bodies let's generate the mesh show all bodies now let's do the remaining body mesh so likewise you need to follow the sequence now there is one more thing like uh, we have after the mesh is done we need to create the contact over the these two faces now you see there is no problem with this conformable so we already discuss the same now let's quickly move towards the contact creation between the saddles manual contact creations select the first face apply hide this and here on this face we need to create the another contact face so for that it is better uh, if you project that let's go to the here and select all the face go to design use the project tab and on the project let's define the direction normal how we want to and select the face let's generate now if you see you have created the projects path now select this face select this face and select this face neither go one by one select this face go to project select the face and you need to define the direction so for that let's select this face now it will project like this generate similarly repeat exercise for this select the target face define the normal and generate okay and now you can delete this unwanted edges simply select that and delete similarly repeat the exercise for other side for that let's delete this extra edges mm, see here the projection is created which is not required control shed you just need to do control shed okay and let's select this let's delete because something is wrong with that do one thing hide others and let's check what is wrong so let's uh, merge the, uh, these two different faces but before doing merge uh, let's check uh, under the repair tab is there any thing wrong like if is there any split edges but we did not found let's uh, any extra edges but we did not found and uh, if any duplicate still it is showing no, no, no areas found okay let's try to stitch okay now you can see one area found and let's teach that okay it's done now let's try to merge done okay now if you see our merge operation is performed so likewise you can use this repair tab under which you will find their different repairing options which 
can be useful for a surface as well as solid bodies. So now once uh, it is done, then we will do the next tab. Let's go to the select show all bodies and uh, we need to project this on this face for that let's select uh, if you want to select the hole you just need to double click it will select the hole and then go to project select the surface where you want to project i want to project on this face and uh, let's project the face now if you see it got projected but it selected the whole face now let's use this select this face and uh, give direction uh, let's use this generate okay now similarly repeat on this side select this face first select this edge select the surface select the direction for the projection now you can see the arrow and generate now go to select and let's delete this delete okay now if you see hide others you will come to know that we have created a projection okay now let's go to our mechanical window and here update geometry from source Okay, now you can see that here the patches are created. So let's go to our selection further. Show all bodies here. This is the first patch. And uh, let's hide that. And select the another patch of the vessel. Now there, when we talk about uh, shell bodies, there you need to think one more category that is like if you see here there is contact shell face target shell face and if you want to consider the shell thickness effect that can also be done with the help of this respective bodies so <clears throat> here let's expand this and uh, if you want what I will do, I will create one section over here so that let's create one section. Okay. And click on the section plane. Okay. Now, if you click on this side, it will show this side of view. We want that side of view right now let's go to our uncheck this pen and if you zoom and just little bit now inside this detail uh, you have selected let's select the top face so basically top face on this and if you select the bottom face it will show inside face of that and uh, for the target so our target is on the tank shell so i will make it top click here and let's zoom first let's hide this let's uncheck the section okay show all bodies and now you can hide this so basically when we talk about shell bodies uh, as we know there is shell bottom and shell top face is there so always keep in mind uh, when you create a shell body contacts so in that case you should always aware of that uh, sometimes it will create an issue by default options will not work so in that case you need to define uh, for a contact which should be body and which uh, for a target which should be top and uh, bottom face okay here you can have the option of that so basically uh, the top face of this and the bottom face of vessel when come 
in contact with each other then in that case your contact will go into form so like that in a similar fashion let's create the another contact manual contact reason select first phase here and select hide this body select the another phase okay show all bodies now <clears throat> if you see that we are we need to change uh, this because it's showing the bottom face so let's select for a contact body let's try with the top and for this let's try with the bottom okay now it seems that it is not the correct way let's make it bottom now it's okay and for this let's make it a top okay right and now show all bodies now you will see that both faces will facing it each other okay likewise these are the two contacts we have created and remaining locations we have created the mesh connection part now let's check the another thing which is very important let's first do the mesh generate mesh okay it will not work with this approach we need to go step by step first okay here is some issue with this surface okay because we splitted that so let's make it uh, 6 mm and uh, let's define these it may happens when you do any kind of operation uh, inside the space clay and then it will when you come in a mechanical it will show some errors <coughs> then you need to rectify that error now generate mesh for the saddle once saddle is done then we can hide this and we will do mesh for the remaining bodies okay let's hide the saddle let's generate mesh show all bodies now so like the single body so once uh, this mesh for a small component is done then we will do mesh for the bigger component that is vessel okay now loot this do the mesh for this now the another important thing that you can check uh, the thicknesses which you have assigned whether these thicknesses are proper or not so that can be checked by clicking this option that is display the thickness so once your mesh is done now you can display the thickness now it will show the thickness okay so if you see now you will come to know the thicken part height thickness like this and here also you will come to know the thicknesses uh it is showing because uh, there are two different faces over there now let's do one thing okay i think uh, this is removed because we worked on that so what i will do let's make it this clear generated mesh and let's do remesh it is an assign from the body sizing because we work on a space claim over there so you need to look into further the different components whether mesh sizings are assigned to that respect to components or not now if you click on there you will find the mesh is properly done now let's go to section plane click over here and uh, on this section plane if you display the thickness you will come to know the thickness of each and every component now let's do one thing let's check thickness somewhere here so for that let's move inside this okay now let's go here and let's check the thickness so let's click on the vessel this is the vessel part and click so if you see there is some issue with the thickness which we have assigned right now if you look into here you will come to know that the thickness is assigned on both the parts at this respective location 
so let's see this component go to corresponding bodies in a tree and on this component let's check the details details are showing thickness is assigned at the middle portion so if you click over here and if you go to that body and let's check instead of middle make it bottom and let's check the thickness okay and uh, go to that body further select go to corresponding bodies in a tree and here bottom let's try top one and click over here now when you click the top it's going inside the respective vessel when you are making bottom it's moving on the downward side so likewise you need to think whether our thickness assigned at this respective section is proper or not so we should make it bottom so let's go to this go corresponding bodies in a tree and here you can assign instead of top make assign the bottom and let's kick the mesh so now if you see that our thickness is assigned on the bottom side of this so it means this problem also can be resolved with the help of assigning thicknesses in respect to directions so let's go to section plane here also let's check uh, this body corresponding bodies in a tree here also let's define the thickness at the instead of middle make it bottom click on the mesh now you can see our thickness is assigned properly okay now there is one more thing now if you see hide all other bodies here mesh is quite different for this and this if you want you can make it more finer just to make it in line with the uh, this our body okay so that the contact will be established properly so let's go now inside the contact uh, here right click insert let's check the contact tool okay so here before performing the simulation we can check whether contacts are closed or not with the help of this tool that is called contact tool so now it will update the your contact information before simulation So if you click over here now you will come to know that your both contacts are closed so basically uh, if it is red then it means your contact status is open if it is orange or gray it means it is closed one okay so now our contacts are closed now let's check about our uh, fixed support over here fixed support over here pressure let's select all the faces apply okay and now ideally we should apply on these flanges uh, this this should not be open because we are applying the internal pressure so what i can do i can uh, either apply compensating pressure or else we can just for the sake of the simulation let's constrain this in a normal direction so for that you can use the boundary condition that is friction led support so basically it acts as it will not move the respective face where we applied this boundary condition that will not move in a normal direction for example this face will not move in a x axial and rotational direction okay so that is all about our pressure and boundary condition let's apply one more loading condition that is required when you do the simulation like this that is standard earth gravity so always keep in mind your standard earth gravity will act always in a negative j direction so here you need to change to minus y okay and just check the arrow and now let's solve the simulation
so now if you see our simulation is performed so now let's extract the results for that you need to right click on deformation let's check the total deformation right click insert let's check the equivalence process so now let's evaluate the result you need to right click to evaluate the result now let's check the total deformation okay and now let's check the equivalent stresses now if you see stresses is okay but when you check the deformation what do you think whether we had applied a correct boundary condition or it is wrong so for that you need to check through this animation tab and on this scale you can increase the scale and let's animate that so if you see you will feel that uh, something is wrong let's increase some more scale and uh, now let's so if you see like it is happening that the external pressure is acting on this tank and tank is trying to squish throughout its center axis so basically it is happening because of now if you see our normal here is outside and we are applying pressure also like this so that's why our arrow should be outward in order to apply the internal pressure condition so we have a boundary con loading condition as a internal so let's make it minus so that this arrow will going to change towards outside okay and now let's try to simulate the similar So likewise, uh, you need to check when you are going to apply the pressure boundary conditions. That is really important when we have a shell surface or shell modeling approach. Okay, now let's check the deformation now if you see our deformation is something is the as expected now let's animate that now you will come to know that it will try to move from inside to outside let's see okay let's increase some more scale and let's check okay this is what the ideal loading condition now you will come to know that on this side it is not deforming that much but here it is because here you can see the nozzle is smaller one and here nozzle is bigger one which is creating the extra stiffness at that location okay now let's go deformation true here we have a maximum deformation and you can even check the max here it is somewhere like this here it is max and now let's check the stresses okay i was okay and now if you see our stresses stresses are also well within the allowable limits our allowable limit is 240 mega pascal now you can see like it is only 80 mega pascal and the highest stresses are observed at the junction location as expected okay maximum you can see here max one right you can probe like this also like this also uh, like this let's check the side also it is somewhere in the range of 50 to 60 okay so likewise you need to check whether my boundary conditions are applied correctly my stresses are okay so we can easily conclude now like this design is safe for a applied loading condition at present we consider very low pressure value but when you uh, do at your end try to increase this pressure value and let's try to check okay suppose if you got any high stresses here more than yield limit in that case you can think for a reinforcing pad so that you can give the local steepness just like this okay so let's go to our So I think we had uh, covered almost all the topics, even we cover the additional topics which are required to perform the simulation of pressure vessel using shell modeling approach. 
so thank you guys uh, please don't forget to like this video because we uh, created this a very long video just to spread the knowledge of how to perform the simulation when you have a shell body so you can use the same methodology for any kind of surface bodies such as like base frames such as uh, you can even use the automotive component where so many surfaces are involved you can even use for aerospace components you can even use for plant engineering component okay so you just follow the same methodology just use this space claim which is quite easier compared to design modeler and let me know your comments if you have any issues while doing this respect to simulation i will be there to reply even uh, if you need this cad model then let us know we will try to upload this cad model in our blog post that is www.graphsengineering.com please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel thank you bye bye take care